welcome to Baldy Man's Diaries. Today I'm doing my top 10 PS4 games um, that you should, or could, play in um, isolation. Um, a lot of the games I've chosen because they, they go on for hours. You've got hours and hours and hours of storylines. Some of the games have got multi games on them, so you've got hours of playing. So if you have a, you have a day where you've got nothing to do, or you know, you just want to play something, then please give me the games. Let's crack on. First game is the Mega Drive collection on PS, obviously PS4. Um, now she's got over 50 games on it, so this will be all the games that you remember, like Streets of Rage, uh, Golden Axe, Sonics, um, games that are really good. There's loads of them as Ultimate Beast. I mean, you can go on and go on. There's, you know, um, the old school ones, the ones you remember um, from your childhood, well, especially me in the early 90s, when I had a Mega Drive and I had about four games back, I think, or five games, obviously, not like it is now, you have loads. Um, but yeah, I really recommend it, like I say, and you can do online play as well, with, you can jump into people's games, you can do little uh, challenges, to win, obviously get trophies on the game as well, so you can do challenges. You can also play um, on VR, where the game's not VR, but you, like when, actually, if you've got a VR um, uh, helmet and obviously the bits and pieces, you can actually, uh, you're actually you're like sitting in your room like it would have been when you were a kid, sitting in your room with a post on the wall the little television, and it's really, really good. I really recommend it, it's like 50 games, you've got hours and hours and hours of fun. And you could also maybe get your kids involved as well, because they're kind of games where the kids can play as well. That's the first one. This is my second choice, Rocket League. Now this is a fantastic game. It's actually basically football, or like a five-side so five -side football, but actually with, with cars. And it's so much fun. It is really hard. I've been playing it for about three years, and I'm still rubbish at it. But it's so fun. Especially if you play it with your, with your friends or your family, it's such a laugh. And like I say, you know, you, you just, you actually, learn, you're in a car. And you and you do, you spin along and the ball you've got to jump and get the ball and basically score a goal with it, and, and you can do you can upgrade your cars you can buy old cars you can buy like the Knight Rider car or you can buy like yeah, maybe Ghostbusters there's all different things you can buy as well, but I definitely recommend this game and look at well, games talking about as well look them up okay, that's the back of, that's the back of it there see you know what I'm saying it's brilliant that's the second one third choice is Ghostbusters the video game remastered. Now this game has actually been on, um, it's been out for, for years, it, it was on the Wii, uh, no, the Wii, sorry, it was on the Xbox 360, uh, PS3. And basically, basically this one is obviously the remastered, so it's better, um, it's better sound, it's, it's better quality, it's better obviously graphics, and it's really, really good. I mean, I've been a fan of this game for years anyway. And basically what it is, this is actually meant to be the third film, but actually instead of making a film, because they couldn't really agree on ideas, they made it into a game instead, and it's fantastic. It's got the original characters in it. Uh, and this time you start as an apprentice, so you actually start as an apprentice and you obviously learn the ropes and you're going along and they're teaching you how to do stuff. And it's very similar to the first film actually, because in one of the scenes you actually go back into the hotel, he was in the first film, and you have to obviously get Slimer again. And then after that you go outside and the marshmallows come back and you've got to try and fight him and other demons come in on and it's actually, it's really, really brilliant. And it's got hours of gameplay as well and if you love, if you love the Ghostbusters films, you'll definitely love this and it's really recommended. Okay, that's that one. Fourth choice is... Truck driver. Now this is a driving simulator game where you start off as a truck driver and you start off doing little jobs for um, firms. So you actually basically you actually are driving around um, cities. You're actually picking up um, loads and delivering obviously loads. And it's really really good because actually you have to um, you have to actually connect your trailer as well. I know that sounds really boring, so if it's actually keep with me. It's really good. Um, but yeah, it's basically, and every time you do a job, you've got more money, you get recognition. And I imagine, I mean, I've only played a few hours, but I imagine obviously you probably get your own company. But all it is basically is there's a lorry driving simulator game. You just do everything, so you're driving, you do different camera angles. I mean, this kind of game, I love this kind of game, don't you? But it meant, it's a bit um, personal to me, because my dad was a lorry driver for a long time, so it's obviously quite a good memory for me. Uh, but that's, yeah, so that's uh, Truck Driver, I recommend that one. Right, my fifth choice is FIFA 19, and I can hear a couple of boos. I know you're going to say, oh, it's a football game, sports game, but actually this one's really good. Um, you, I mean, I to be honest with you, I play a lot of this game on the management mode because management mode is really, really good now. Considering years ago and it was quite basic, um, they, it's a lot more involved now. A lot, of, you know, better players in the teams. Um, you can do more as a manager now, and it's obviously better, you know, quality in it now. You know, I just, um, I just think it's a great game. And obviously, another career mode you can do as well. You can actually become a player. So you can start off in your right seventeen, eighteen. You play for a basic team and you get scouted. So usually, it's like a, it can be like a bottom. Maybe the bottom four or five teams in the Premier League, or something like Burnley, or something, well, back then anyway. You can so you can you play for them, and if you do really well in the team, you, I mean, first of all, you start as a substitution, and then also you get more games, and you play, and you get better offers from better teams, you can go on basically. And that's basically that one on the, on the player. And obviously, you can play tournaments. You can play obviously in the um, 
like all the tour you can play in the uh, like FA Cup in all different cups in the leagues and around the world. And this one's actually got the, um, which is good as well, which is about time. They've got a women's uh, World Cup on this tournament. Uh, it's about time they did that because I think that you know doesn't get as much um, coverage as it should do because it's good. I like women's football. So that's it. Yeah. So basically, that's it. And it's a good game to have. You can play and um, brilliant. You can play online as well and uh, get some other people around the world and see how good you are. I thought I was brilliant this game and I found out that I wasn't that good to be honest. It's quite rubbish. Uh, but yeah, you play and you can play like you've got people in the house. You can play with them as well. Like two players that best, you know, you pick your team, and that's it basically. That's three for, yeah, three for my team. Thank you. And my sixth choice is Minecraft. I know what you're thinking. I'm a big baby. You're probably right. Age at my age. Well, no, it's a really good game actually. Um, it's for I'd say it's mainly for kids, obviously, at a certain age, but adults as well because you've got all different kind of modes. Uh, one of the modes is survival mode where you have to basically build everything from scratch. You have to cut down trees to get the wood. You have to hit stone blocks to get obviously stone to make you know walls and make you want to make a house, because when it turns night time, you get you have creatures like zombies, you have witches, you have big spiders, you have all sorts of things like that, and you've got to be so careful. So before that happens, you have to make sure you can build a house somewhere to stay in or somewhere to you know just to. Cause I won't go and fight them just straight away until you get a bit you know better. At it. But it's, yeah, and you've got loads, of, and also you've got a massive like, what I can think is like a big green jelly block and. He just comes out the water and it, I remember my first break made me jump. <laughs> it's stupid, made me absolutely, I've jumped up my seat, it's stupid because it's only Minecraft. Um, that's one mode. The second mode is creative, um, where you basically, everything's already made for you, so you just choose from a menu, you get a menu, you choose what you want to build. You can, you've got so many, hundreds and hundreds of things to use, so I could be all day saying that. Um, but that's really good. And if it's just, you just want to laugh, you just want to play against your kids, or uh, people like your family members or friends. They're in your house with you at the moment, that's obviously the solution. And you can play against them, you can like build who can build the best thing, and that's really, really good. And you can do it online as well, so your friend you can invite your friends and then come and help you in the world and build stuff. So it's really, yeah, definitely um, that's definitely a recommendation that one. It's Minecraft. Item number seven is Days Gone. So basically it's a horror survival game. You're actually you're an outlaw biker, and you're basically trying to survive um, on the road against zombies, doing like side missions. Again, it's an open world. It actually reminds me a little bit of uh, Far Cry 5, but actually with zombies rather than, you know, it's that kind of style, you know, you can, you're fighting zombies, you're trying to help other other gangs nearby, you're trying to get by, obviously, and I've been waiting for this game for a long time, because you keep getting put back and put back, and it's really good, because zombies f seem more realistic, and they seem faster, and they seem more of them, so it's obviously more of a challenge, um, but I really enjoy this game, again, I've got a lot to play, I've only played a few hours on it, uh, it's one of the games I'm going to go back to once I finish this one, I'm on at the moment. But yeah, that is gone. If you love your horror and you love your survival and zombies, that's the game for you. My next game is Dominator Resistance. Now, I really like this game. I'm actually playing it at the moment, so I'm, I'm not actually finished it. I'm actually, you know, maybe caught way through. Uh, basically, I think it's the kind of time set after um, one and two, like Judgment Day, that kind of time after that one. And you start off um, as a soldier, you know, just fighting, going along, and then you meet up with Resistance and you join the Resistance. Now, I must admit, this is really, really a uh, brilliant game so far because it feels like you're actually in a film. Because one of the uh, levels in it, you're actually running with the resistance and you're shooting all these different kinds of Terminators. And I think it's a T-800, so it's the normal, obviously, the ones that are one and two. And it's just, and it's like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I was blown away by, you know, fighting, but it just, it was really, really cool. And it's kind of an eerie game because, obviously, I've watched Terminator when it, number one, it first came out, I don't know about maybe 10 or 11. And it's kind of always it'd be a bit eerie me like robots and like taking over. It's kind of like you know, so kind of playing it's a bit eerie. But that's just for me. It might be you know, piece of cake for you. And it's basically what it is. Basically, so you basically and you got a lot of stealth missions where you, you because when you first start, you have basic guns. You can't kill the terminators. You have to sneak around them and try not to obviously alert them. And you got to work out the patterns where they're going. What you know, what kind of because they're on a certain um, route they, they take. So you have got to make sure you're going round and you can duck into um, shafts and and beyond things. And you got a uh, the radiation to see through walls so you can see that the is walking about so it's, that's quite handy the only thing I would say in this game is make sure you've got loads of ammo because you run it's one of the games where once you run out of ammo that's it you have to find it again eventually you'll get better guns you can upgrade as well so that's quite good but again like I said I'm only just really starting this game I'm only a little bit into it so I'm still kind of doing it but it's one of the games that you'll really love and it'll take a few days or maybe weeks to complete if you want, if you want to complete all of it if you're like me you try and complete all of it as long as you can if it's too hard I give up but yeah, it has terminated resistance now I've and I'll be back for number nine. And number nine is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, this is my favourite Black Ops so far. Obviously, I know the other two are on, on different consoles, like maybe X, uh, Xbox 360 and uh, PS3. 
Um, but it's well, I know that they've made Black Ops 4, but I wasn't really a big fan of Black Ops 4 because they haven't got the storyline of it in the campaign, which I really love. It's a bit, and all you, most of it is actually multiplayer. You have, you have uh, zombies on there, but um, they're not very good to be fair. I think the actually guy who made them actually got fired in the end, actually. So that's how bad they were. Anyway, so Black Ops 3. And I like this one because, again, it's got a nice campaign. It's really good. And I really enjoyed the campaign. But also, one of my favourite things, apart from the campaign in this game, is zombies. And the first map you get with it is actually Shadows of Evil. And that's really, really hard. I mean, I can just about get to level maybe round 9 or 10 because it's really hard. But that's only because I'm a basic player. I love them. I'm good at them, but I love playing them. And you can buy different zombie maps. You can buy DLCs. You can pay for them on, on the PlayStation Store. That's what you want to do. That's fine. And obviously you've got multiplayer as well, which if you love multiplayer, you love playing against your mates and against other people, that's really good as well. You've got different kind of maps, different um, ones you can do. Um, I think one of the ones, and I'm sure it's one, one of my favourites is where it's called Infected. And you, you one of the people in the, in the group starts off with Infected and you have to go around, they, have to, they go around chasing and trying to infect you, you have to try and kill him before he gets you. That's my favourite. Anyway, so that's Black Ops 3. Thank you. That's number 10, last but not least. Red Redemption 2. Now this game, I've actually only played a few hours at the moment, so we're unqualified to actually talk about this game really, uh, in a great deal. But what I've played so far is brilliant. I believe it's set, it's like a prequel to the other two, so you're actually just setting out, obviously as a gang leader, um, an outlaw. And basically it's an open world, and you've got to do side missions, you've got to do missions like a storyline. I won't go too much because I don't want to spoil it as well. And I must, I warn you, it's a very long game, I think, my, one of my mates actually has completed it and it took him about two months to do it. But he's done, he done 100%, he's done everything on it. The storyline's not actually that long, but it's obviously all side missions. And so many side, even if you just want to walk around and you know, I can fight bears, you can fight animals. So if you just want to do it, muck around and do things like that, you can. You, get different, you can get different horses, better horses and things like that. So there's a lot to do in it, rather than just a storyline. Uh, like I said, I've only done a few hours in it so far, so, you know. But it's what i played so far. And it's an open world as well, so open world games, you can do pretty much what you like. And that's a brilliant, yeah, so that's, that's my last one. That's Red Dead Redemption 2. Recommend that one. Right, thank you for watching my top 10. Again, these are ones from my collection, um, games I've played. So, obviously, you might not have these in collection. You might have them already. You might have played them. But if you haven't, a lot of these games I'm talking about, actually, you can pick them up. Not a uh, quite reasonable price, actually. You know where you usually get games from, I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, so you can get, pick them up at quite reasonable prices. And they're definitely worth it while you've got time in your hands at the moment, while, we, while we're in um, isolation. You know, we've got actually time to play games. Um, you know, and before, before I think, you know, when we have to go back out, if you're not working, if you can't go out, then it's probably the best time at the moment to fill a bit of time, because if it's like me, some of the time and the days just feel like the same, it's rolling at one, it's like, oh, I know you've got other things to do in the house and our priorities, but still, if you're a gamer, then you really enjoy this. And also, if you can help my channel out at the moment, it's quite a new channel, I started it a few weeks ago. Um, again, it's not all about subscribers and, and notification followers, it's just, you know, the amount of people I have so far, which is about 48 subscribers, actually it's fine, because as long as I get through to people and help them out on this channel, that's all I really want to do. But, you know, if I want to, if I want to get to more people and help more people, then I will need, you know, more subscribers eventually. So if you can subscribe, if you can tick the bell, and if you can follow all the, all the boring stuff, unfortunately, I'm sorry. I know everyone, I, when I watch videos, I'm like, oh God. But yeah, if you can do it and help me out, that, that would, I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Body my peace out!